Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Tracy Tuesday. Well, how are you doing, Central Oregon? Thank you so much for tuning in and checking us out this evening. Let's jumpstart the new week at the beach. Thank you to viewer Johnny Oliver for capturing this lovely shot. And what a great backdrop, the mountains. Now, we are in store for more lovely but hot weather on the high desert. In fact, Thursday, the northern lights are coming to Oregon. More about that in just a bit. But right now, let's gauge where we are temperature-wise for the remainder of the week into next week. Tomorrow will be sort of a replica of today's temperatures, which will steady around 87 degrees. A slight tick up by one degree on Wednesday. Then temperatures will begin to rise on Thursday to 90 degrees and reaching the low to mid 90s by our weekend. Now let's get an overview of the high desert and the surrounding cities. Very little cloud cover tonight. Temperatures will drop down to the low to mid 40s. Those northwest winds will pick up this evening, turning southwest by tomorrow, gusting upwards of about 30 miles per hour through Wednesday. Currently on the high desert, we've got three mile per hour winds in Bend and 11 mile per hour winds in Redmond. Now on Thursday, the northern lights, also known as the Aurora Borealis, are most often seen in Alaska, Canada, and Scandinavia. But an 11 year solar cycle that's expected to peak in 2024 is making the lights visible in places further to the south, including right here in Oregon. Now the best city to view the northern lights is in Salem. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric and Administration's uh, Space Weather Prediction Center, if you're wanting to experience the aurora, be sure to get away from the city lights. The best viewing times are between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. this Thursday. Our overnight lows tonight, we're looking at low 40s to low 50s, cooling down to 38 degrees there in Lapine. Daytime highs for tomorrow is getting hot in here. Little reference to Nelly. Temperatures on the high desert will uh, be hovering between the low to upper 80s. Warm springs actually will reach up there 91 degrees. Currently, we are cooling down on the high desert this evening. We've got 64 degrees in Sisters, 61 in Prineville, and we've got 59 in Sun River. Now let's take a look at the pollen uh, levels. Not too bad. Tree and weed pollen are low while the pollen in the grass slightly elevated at moderate levels. How about that seven day forecast? Breezy conditions will stay with us through Wednesday. Evening temperatures will drop down to the upper 40s to low 50s. Our day temperatures will hit the mid to upper 80s. Temperatures will begin to rise to the 90s. And look at that. Thursday, we have 90 degrees, getting a little hotter by Friday, and by the weekend, we are hitting close to 100 degrees. 